Right, today in the spotlight we're here with Josh Healy. We're going to have a chat with him about his latest EP and um, we'll hear a little bit of it um, later. Right, Josh, how did you get started and when did you discover you had a voice? Um, it's probably back when I was about, I think like seven or eight years old. Um, my parents had this sort of like kids, kids TV uh, video and uh, there was these kind of cartoon characters who would like sing and play guitar. I can't remember what it was called. And um, my parents said that I, I used to pick up uh, my granddad's old golfing stick mm. and pretend to you know, imitate playing the guitar and stuff. So I guess that was the sort of maybe first inkling that it was going to be something musical in my life. And then I guess the next three or four years, not much. Um, and then when I got back into kind of end of primary school, start of high school, right. um, I took up an interest in uh, music once again. Uh, parents got me a guitar for birthday and uh, I, I didn't play it for like a couple of months and then one day I was just bored in the house and I thought oh you know what I'm, I should probably pick up that guitar I was given and I uh, just took to YouTube and learned like Smoke on the Water and you know like all, all the kind of start off covers, Wonderwall, The right. Usual and then uh, I guess from there um, once I mastered like the chords and like knew my way around the guitar for like a, a good few months of practice I thought well now I know all the shapes and the sort of things that sound right on the ear maybe I should Try putting like you know some some of my own chords and stuff and right. yeah so I guess that's where it, where it all started. Um, so it's all from very self-taught really. And then from there, um, when did you start to write music? Um, I was in a, I was actually in a band with four of my good friends uh, in high school, and we we started writing together when I must have been about sixteen I'd say fifteen right. sixteen when I probably started like writing, um, and then about two years later. That's when the band split up because everyone went, you know, uni or college or different yeah. ways. And then um, I still had that sort of, you know, kind of part of me that I was missing. I was missing the music. So I thought, well, the whole singing songwriter thing I've always enjoyed and it's quite current at the moment. So I thought, you know, it won't do any harm to start playing again. And then I uh, started writing songs once more. So where do you get your ideas from for your music or um, so the chords and the lyrics you're coming out with? Um, Paul Simon has always been a, a really big inspiration for me. Uh, when I was in drama in I think it was year 10, um, my teacher, Mr Oakes, I used to give him a shout out, <laughs> we were doing like a drama piece and uh, he gave us the music and it was stimulus you know, for, this, you know, for the piece to inspire yeah. it. It was uh, The Sound of Silence by Simon Garfunkel. I just fell in love with it. Wow. I heard it and thought, that's, that's amazing. I've, I'd never heard of them before. So I went home and this is about four months into the teaching of myself so I thought I'll, I'll be able to I was able to do this, so I just, you know, got a home like, yeah, okay, you know, so I masked that bit and then the next chord took it. So, you know, I thought, yeah, yeah, and when I was just sat at home, uh, kind of imitating what he was doing, I just thought, oh, you know, the singer-songwriter folk thing, I was just completely taken with it. So that's a massive leap then, so how did you then take that out to perform in front of an audience? When was your first gig and what were the early gigs like for you then? Um. I'd say I've always been um, confident in terms of performing, but that first gig when you walk out on stage, you know, your heart is absolutely racing. Yeah. I think my first my first proper gig was at the Power Hall, just down the road in Warrington, and it was with my band, and then we had about a, a six song set list, and I think three of the songs were our own, put two covers in there. So we did a Viva La Vida by Coldplay, and I think we did Everlong by the Foo Fighters, I think. And um, it was quite a busy venue. There must have been about 40 people there. So for the first gig, it's kind of like a baptism of fire, really. Because like you said before, that the rest of the guys went off to separate ways mm -hmm. and you wanted to carry on playing music. What motivated you to do that? Especially if you must have had some challenges along the way. Yeah. Um, I, I remember when all my friends started filling out UCAS forms for uni, I always thought, I, I kind of want to go to uni, but at the same time, I've got this real yearning for music. You know, it's like, when I'm playing guitar and writing and jamming with people, it's more than just a hobby. I, I, I kind of want to do this, you know, as a job. So I owe Warrington music scene a lot for helping me break into, you know, gigs and stuff. And Lee Harmon with Warrington Music, uh, you know, hooking up with the lounge open mic and the bus interchange gigs and stuff. And this at the same time I was recording the EP, so they kind of went hand in hand, which is a bit of luck, I suppose. Right, right. Um, so, you know, like I said, you're only 20 now and you're still trying to find your way in the industry. Mm -hmm. What would you say is an inspirational message from you to those who are still trying to work it out like yourself? Some people just aren't going to like the, like the genre of music you write. 
and when they tell you that up front, you just gotta, you know, accept it because they'll, you know, people can think that way. And as long as you believe in what you're doing, then just keep chasing it. You know, with enough time and years, you know, you will get found and stuff. Uh, it happened to me with BBC introducing and uh, like the local scene and stuff. Who I owe a lot too, but I think it's that first year where you don't get anything and you're, you're on the verge of thinking, should I just yeah. go to uni? But if you just honestly, so I mean, if, if it's kind of happening for me, so anyone can do it. Honestly, just just believe in what you're writing. If you're a writer, keep writing. If you're a gigger, keep gigging. Right. A songwriter, just just keep at it and. Just that 100% belief, I think. That relentless persistence. So you've got your life boats and relationships. We're going to hear a little piece of that now. We are. So you're just yeah. going to um, give us a flavour of that. Well, thanks for chatting to us anyway. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this song's called uh, Need To Be, and it's off the EP. Oh, uh -huh. 